Hi everyone. This is a bit of a Monday service, Monday Thursday service, uh, recorded for those of you who uh, want to participate in uh, a Monday Thursday communion but aren't comfortable going on Zoom and participating that way. This also means that people can take their pause, their moment for communion anytime uh, that is convenient in the day tomorrow rather than being stuck on the 7 p.m. time that is associated with the Zoom. So I'm glad to have this alternative. I think this will be a good, a good way for uh, many of us to join together in communion. So let's prepare ourselves and ready ourselves to receive the sacrament together. Monday Thursday is the day we remember Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples. He gathered around the table to celebrate Passover. Passover is the Jewish festival of freedom. At Passover, the people tell God's story of delivering the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. It's experienced through the words of the book of Exodus and the sharing of symbolic foods. When the Passover meal was over, Jesus looked at his disciples around the table with him, and he took two of those symbolic foods, the bread and the cup, and he shared them with his disciples as symbols of his own life in their midst. In him, in his life and his message, we too are freed. We're freed from brokenness and disconnect and hurt and sorrow into communion with God and with one another. So today we say, all who are hungry, come and eat. This is not the table of one congregation nor of one denomination. This is the table of our Lord Jesus Christ and all who are seeking to follow in his way are welcome at his table. Let us pray. God be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks and praise to God for it is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right that we should praise you, gracious God, for you created all things. By your spirit, you breathed order into the chaotic elements you spoke into being the lands and the oceans and filled them with life. In your light, with the whole universe, we live and move and have our being. So it is that with our neighbors around the world, we give you thanks and raise our voices together saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed are you, holy God. You illumined the hearts of your people when they faltered, sending prophets to call for justice and visionaries to lead the way to freedom and peace. In Jesus, you joined us in our human life, embodying in him the fullness of your goodness and grace. He ate and drank with outcasts and welcomed them with compassion. He lifted up the brokenhearted, the poor and all in need. On the night before he died, Jesus gathered with his disciples around the table and taking the bread, he blessed it and broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he shared it with his disciples, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant, shed in my blood for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. 
recalling his death and proclaiming his resurrection, we offer you, O God, this bread and this cup. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts. May all who eat and drink at this table be one body and one people. May this be the bread that sustains and the cup that blesses our commitment to you. And now as Jesus taught us, let us pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The body of Christ, our bread for the journey. Amen. The blood of Christ, the cup of new life. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The body of Christ is broken for us. Amen. The blood of Christ poured out for us. Merciful God of all creation, you have now touched us with new life and filled us with new hope that your reign will come, that the hungry will be fed and the oppressed set free. May the whole earth be filled with your glory. Amen. And as we go out into this next few days, into the stillness of Good Friday, the waiting of Saturday, and the promise of Sunday, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of God's Holy Spirit rest within us and lift us up this day and forevermore. Amen.